Hey, the countdown continues to the 106th running of the Indianapolis 500. Last time you're going to see that one, maybe one more day. Race fans, we are two days away from the greatest spectacle in racing. This weekend, there are many events that you can attend. As drivers prepare for today's final practice before the race, the town of Speedway is gearing up for hundreds of thousands of visitors. Lindsay Stone joins us live at the track with a look at how the host city's feeling ahead of the event being back at full capacity and also where to watch if you are not going. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning to you both. Definitely an excitement out here this morning. A little buzz in the air. And no, it's not the sound of the drivers already um, biking on this track this morning. There is certainly some excitement for Carve Day and, of course, the big race happening on Sunday. Now, if you're not going to be watching, we've got you covered on where to watch. But first, I want to mention the town of Speedway. As Lindy just said, so excited to have everyone back in full capacity. Really, not just the town, the state, the country, possibly even the world. Racing fans from all over are going to be here in Indianapolis over the next couple of days. And as I mentioned, that that excitement is definitely building for local restaurants. Small businesses like Big Woods Restaurants say they have been preparing for this weekend for months. Big Woods is hosting race fans all weekend, including race day, and even opening up their outdoor beer garden to grab offer or grab offer rather grab and go options. We have everyone working, so everybody that we could possibly have working is going to be here to help um, provide the customer experience that everyone is used to uh, us providing at Big, Big Woods. Um, we also have our feature menu with our race theme items, so those are fantastic and very yummy. And we'll have our patio and beer garden opened where we'll be grilling some hot dogs and brats out there where you can come and just take and go. Okay, so what if you are not attending the race in person? So there is expected to be a blackout in Indianapolis, but you can listen live on the radio or watch a rerun later in the day. And just as a reminder, the 106 running of the Indy 500 begins at 1245. Now, if you are going to be headed here to the track, there's a whole list of things that you can and cannot bring. So we've made it really easy for you on our website, fox59.com. You'll find a full list of things you can and cannot bring. So head to our website. We'll have that full list for you there. Now, Scott Lindy, one thing you are definitely going to want to need if you're headed to the racetrack this weekend is some sunglasses. Check out these bad boys. I've got my flame sun. I will be wearing these on Sunday for the race, just so you know. Good. They're looking good. <laughs> Can you see? They're looking good. Yeah, you can't see anything. You absolutely cannot see anything. Well, that's because it's, it's nighttime. Style, Scott. <laughs> it's nighttime. Also, then there's that. Sometimes, yeah. though, as light as our brights are, or as bright, bright as, as our, our lights are, are in yeah. your face, you right. feel like you need yeah. them. Yeah, exactly. The sun. Looking good, right? All right, exactly. I'm ready for Sunday. Thanks, right. Lindsay. 